So on this side we have a Megillah Esther, Megillah Esther, the Book of Esther, which is uh, in this case was done in Palestine. The box is an olive wood box, um, and it was probably done in the 20s. And then next to it is uh, an extremely scarce pamphlet called Antarctica Musique, which was the exhibition catalog for the degenerate music exhibition that was done in Germany. You see on the cover a black ape with a Jewish star and a top hat. The text basically equates atonal music with klezmer and jazz as Jewish degenerations of the romantic uh, classical uh, music of the preceding generations. Next to it is a rare Czech photo book about the Nuremberg trial. It's uh, all done in sepia gravure tones in fabulous condition. Next to it is uh, one of probably four or five of the most famous uh, anti-Semitic uh, Nazi-produced caricature books. Phipps, who was the artist, was the staff artist for Der Sturmer, Julius Stryker's infamous anti-Semitic, virulently anti-Semitic newspaper. Next to we have this ABC, an anti-Nazi ABC that we just had discussed, um, done in Holland just shortly after the liberation. Next to this is a little flip book. You can't see it really, but it, if you flip the book, you see Hitler giving a speech. It was produced as a propaganda piece by Heinrich Hoffmann, his court photographer. Next to it is an extraordinarily rare and important item. It's the, it's the book documenting the trial of an Armenian youth in 1921 who assassinated one of the three people who were responsible for the Armenian genocide. He was acquitted at his trial. That's what makes it so fascinating for because of the realization that he, his family had been liquidated during the Armenian Genocide and the Turks had suffered so much. So the idea that, that uh, he himself would have to be uh, suffer for the murder, the court actually acquitted him of the, of the murder of this previous Turkish ambassador. Really fascinating. And then just to finish this thing out, incredibly, this is a, it says uh, uh, Hadgad Ya, so this is from Zev Raban, who was the most famous of the Betzalel illustrators, and it's just, it's just this Hadgad Ya story with illustrations done in the 20s. And next to this is the life of Muhammad. It's an Arabic manuscript from about 1700. It's in an original Turkish Ottoman binding. How could it stand being next to the Jewish book? It likely loves being next to the Jewish book because uh, Muslims and Jews actually used to get along together more or less. And next to that, Lahabdil is is one of the earliest <laughs> manifestos of L. Ron Hubbard. Just to show you the eclectic nature of some of the things that I do.